I'm glazing this wooden sash. I have it set up on my glazing easel. I've got my putty. I've kneaded it up so it's nice and warm and soft and pliable. And putty knife. First step is to just work some putty into the shoulder of the glazing rabbit. That goes like this. I've got the wad of putty in my hand and then I just use my fingers to feed it up to my thumb and forefinger and just wipe that in place. Next I'll seat the glass. I've got the original glass that came out of this sash and I've cleaned it with the wet wash method. I'll just set it in the lower glazing rabbit and lean it in place. And I'm not going to push it in place, but I want it to move in that direction. So what I'm going to do is just wiggle it a little bit. The next step is setting the points. Lay the point flat on the glass with its pointy end going into the neck of the glazing rabbit and then take your putty knife and set the end edge of your putty knife across the glazing point and wiggle it into place. Set the point, lay it flat on the glass, and take the end edge of your putty knife right up against the two, show, two tabs and then push it into the wood. But don't just push it straight in. Wiggle your putty knife from side to side and it'll seat right in until both tabs are right up against the neck of the glazing rabbit. Setting points by hand works well, but when I have a lot of glazing to do, I use a point driver. This is the Fletcher number no. 5 point driver. It holds a magazine of diamond shaped points right here and when you squeeze the handle it shoots them out here. It goes like this. The next step is the outer line of putty and I'll use the Place, pack, and tool three-step method. So first, I'll just place the putty in the glazing rabbit. doesn't make any difference how it looks. Just quickly distribute it. And then for each line of putty, I come back and pack it. So, final tooling. One slow stroke. the end edge method, the putty knife is held perpendicular to the line of putty with the end edge on the glass. You can rock it back and forth till you feel it settle on the glass. 
and that end edge almost always stays in the glass, except for when you're ending the line of putty. I'll show you that in a minute. So keep that end edge on the glass always, and then the side edge that's trailing as you move the knife, the side edge stays on the arras, the little ridge of wood between the neck of the glazing dado and the face of the mutton. That end edge stays on that. And then you raise and lower the handle to adjust for the angle of your bevel of putty. And you look through the glass to see where the glass meets the arras or the ridge of the shoulder of the glazing dado. Now there might be some putty that's squeezed out on the back side of the glass. So you can reach around behind and just scrape that off in a little section as you get started. So end edge on, side edge against the arras, seek the angle so the trailing point of your putty knife is right across the glass from that ridge of wood on the other side. And the leading side edge is up off of the arras, about an eighth or a quarter of an inch. And then I just start my downward stroke. Keeping the angle. See what's happening here? No scraps of putty on the glass because the end edge is always scooping them back underneath as you stroke. And then the putty flows back up behind the putty knife and curls out over the top edge of the putty knife. So it does, it's not leaving any putty on the face of the mutton here. So I'll just continue this stroke. And then right after you've done tooling, within seconds after finishing tooling, take some whiting, which is dry, a dry powder. It's ground up chalk, calcium carbonate, called whiting, W-H-I-T-I-N-G, in a container with about a four or five inch house painting brush and just load that brush with some of the dry whiting powder. And then you polish all of your finger smudges of oil off of the glass. And I think you can probably see how the whiting is sticking to the glass and that's every place where there's a little bit of oil. So you just use the dry brush with whiting to polish that off and it cleans it. The dry powder picks up the oil off of the glass. Do your final strokes on an angle, 45 degree angle. Then if it happens to leave any streaks, they won't show so much. Now the sash is ready to be set aside to give the putty a chance to skin over and then it can be painted.